Good morning, sisters. I am so glad to see you back this morning with Day 10. I'm Amber Masterson, and I am excited to be bringing you today's devotion. You know, up to this point, Day 5 had been my favorite, and it was talking about recharge. And I think it was just my favorite because it spoke to me during this season. But today, I have to say this verse, this devotion was right in line with where I'm at. So we're going to go in and we're going to talk how like I chose to design my page today. We're going to make this very short and sweet because for me, it was way less about any artwork to be done, any design I could make. And it was way more about what God was speaking to me during this uncertain season in me and my family's life. So let's jump right in and then we're going to talk at the end. So yesterday I used some Tombow dual brush pens and I've decided I'm using them again today. The colors are bright, fun, and with what I'm going with today, I feel like it's very appropriate. I am going to create a rainbow because to me, rainbows um, represent a promise. And that's what this page represents to me. It represents hope and it represents a promise. So to start out, I used those Tombow dual brush pens. There were six of them. I used one for every different letter in the word future. And then I began working on my rainbow. I did add some washi tape because I want when I'm done the bottom of my rainbow to be like very straight edge. I'm kind of doing a little bit of like a, uh, I want to say boho rainbow, but these colors are not very boho-ish. Um, but it is kind of like a different shape of a rainbow than a lot of times we think of when we think rainbow. Um, I am just doing some different patterns with it. Now, I will tell you, my first one, I for sure wanted to use a solid line because I do want to come in and write words within this rainbow. So I've done just a solid line. I've done some hearts. I come in with another solid line. I did a thinner solid line, thicker solid line. Just mix it up. And then ultimately, I decided to add a heart in the center. I like hearts. You're going to see a lot of my designs. I incorporate hearts. I just like hearts. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dry off anything that might be still in this and then I'm that still might be wet in this. And then I'm going to use a black Posca pen and I'm just going to add some dots. Um, the reason I chose to do this is I wanted to mix up the solid lines, add a little bit more uh, design within that. But then I'm going to come in with a black Micron pen and I'm going to write... I have to consolidate it somewhat to make it fit within the rainbow. And then at the end, it still doesn't fully fit. But what I wrote was, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Said the Lord. For good and not disaster. Wow. Okay. So we're going to get to that. We're going to get to this. I, God was speaking to me all over during this devotion today, y'all. I I loved today's devotion, but my praise for the day is today I praise God for hope during a time in my family's life where our future is very unknown. I am thankful for his promises. And then I come in and I added some pieces of confetti. That is really all that I did today. It is super simple, but I do want to take a moment and talk to you for just a minute. I'm going to switch screen so you can see what we've actually created in the final look while I talk to you a little bit about this design and like what this devotion meant to me. Okay, I feel like I need to give you a little bit of background information so that you fully understand where I'm going today with this. But um, to make a very long story short, Nathan and I, Nathan is my husband, Nathan and I were self-employed. We both worked here in our home. We made a very comfortable income in our home. Um, I did know at one point that God had kind of told me to shut down that chapter, but um, it was scary and I wasn't obedient during that. Um, 
you know, just kind of going back and forth, like, is this really God telling me? Like, this doesn't really make sense. I, I don't know if I'm hearing God right. And through a series of events, he very much confirmed that he was, that was him speaking. And he shut down that chapter of our life. And I really went into um, a tough couple of years after that. Um, I really struggled and battled with some failure, some uh, you could probably say some depression during that time. And if any of y'all know me, like that's not who I am, but it, it, when you face certain valleys in your life that rock your entire world, sometimes it can be really hard to, um, to maintain through those times, I guess would be a good way to say that. And I really had a hard time maintaining. So, I can look back today and I can see back in those times why God allowed me to go through that. But I couldn't see it at the time. He had us go through that because that season had to end for a new season to open. For a better door to open. And had he not have shut that down, I would have never been right here right now becoming friends with so many ladies across the world. I wouldn't have the ministry that I have today. I wouldn't have the life that I have today. So first, I mean, there is a there was one of our devotions that I even said in that, God, I thank you for those unanswered prayers. Because had he have answered those prayers when I was calling out, I wouldn't be to where I am today, and today is such a better place than that ever could have been. I just couldn't see that in my natural eyes. So, then I take it even further, and I think, you know, right now, Nathan and I are kind of in a season of our life is a little bit up in the air. Um, Some of you know me and my family, and you know our situation, but... Um, Nathan is going through a, um, a change and he is in a campaign right now. We're just going to keep it simple. He is in a campaign right now. He is in the midst of an election and pending the outcome of this election very much, um, will shape how and where our future goes. And so I really like this because I know that God already has our story written out. And God knows the things that we don't know. And so whether he wins this election or he loses this election, we've still won because whatever path that God tells us and shows us and has us go down is the path he wants us to go down. If it is God's will for us to be this, then that's ex- that's exactly where we want to be. But if it is not God's will for us to go down this path and for him to win this, then that's not at all where we want to be at all anyways. So this is just a huge reminder to keep your focus. Use your head. Do what you need to do. Give, use those brains that God gave you. And I mean, you have to be a mover and a shaker in this time. I mean, that's what I felt like God's saying to me. But if in the end, it doesn't go the way we necessarily want it to go, I believe number one, there was something for us to learn in this season. And number two, God has a better door. God has the door we're supposed to be going down. And it's not always necessarily the way we think it looks. And this, if this is the door that we're supposed to be going down, then it's going to be exactly where we're supposed to be. It's going to be exactly where we will be. And God's hand of protection is going to be on that. And so I thank God for his promises and for his the hope that he has a future written out for us that's for good and for not disaster. So this devotion very much spoke to me. And I want to know how it spoke to you. So leave me a comment below and tell me how God used today's devotion 
to speak into your life. Ladies, thank you so much. I'm going to see you on Monday morning. And don't forget to like and subscribe and to comment and to share. And I will talk to you very soon. Love you, ladies. Bye-bye.